Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. There's certainly been a turn of events in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy post-update 13 and after the firing of the Proteus Wave, which has not gone according to plan. Guardian weapons and modules now degrade in certain systems where it's Thargoid activity. And the hunt is on now to find the next best thing. But is it still all about Guardian technology? We have become accustomed to sticking it to the Thargoid and the Thargoid quite happily taking it and dying. Now it's all different. They've come back and they're angry. They're really angry. And the hunt is on now for Guardian Relics. Those lovely blow gluing crystals that are there at the Guardian sites, whether they're ruin sites or sites where you can get additional materials. The race is on to go and collect these Guardian materials and put them into Thargoid devices, which since the arming of the Proteus Wave and the subsequent Thargoid rearming of the Proteus Wave are now bringing up unidentified artifacts. Let's see what you have to do. To be honest, once I'd seen what happened with the Proteus Wave, a little piece of me was glad because I thought we were going to be done with all this Guardian technology and what have you. And then some clever dickies in the community went and said, well, what if we put some Guardian tech in that Thargoid base machine that we've been doing for absolute years? Let's see what happens there. And before you know it, engineers like Ramtar and Palin are straight on your back. So for those of you who have not collected Guardian technology before, you go to a set of Guardian bases, of which they're quite easily found in Inara. You drive around, you can scan obelisks, get a bit of data, you can pick up urns, you can pick up caskets, you can pick up tablets, there's loads of things to pick up, you can shoot sentinels on certain bases, but also there are these huge statuesque pillars that come up out of the ground with a glowing blue jewel. Now up until now they've been like meh, lovely, what are they all about? Well, it actually looks like it could be about something really important. So get over to your local friendly neighbourhood guardian site, get in your SRV and shoot those lovely guardian relics. Pick up the blue jewel, stick it in your cargo hold and that's 50% of the way there. Next up, it's time to get yourself over to your nearest Thargoid crash site. This could be a scout or a larger vessel. Here, if you are lucky, you will find a Thargoid sensor. Now, these are very harmful to the on-foot commander, so don't keep too close to them. They will turn you into a big puddling mass of goo. That's a little bit harmful to your SRV as well. Now, you may want to go and equip your ship with an anti-corrosive cargo rack to ferry these Thargoid sensors around. Now, you will need a Thargoid sensor just to get into the Thargoid base and nothing else. The main thing here really is the Guardian artifact. But it doesn't end there. So once you've got a Thargoid sensor, at least one of those, I usually carry two or three on my ship in an anti-corrosive cargo bay, of course, and as many Guardian relics as you can possibly have, those little nice lovely crystals, get yourself over to a Thargoid base. Park up, make sure you've got some SRVs, put three glowing blue Guardian crystals in your cargo hold to start off with, that's of your SRV, and a sensor. The sensor will allow you into the Thargoid base and the door will open. Otherwise, you'll be Billy No Mates knocking on the door like the milkman on a Friday wanting his money. Make your way in through and towards the central chamber. If you haven't been here before, there's loads of videos out of how to do it. You're probably better off clearing out those scavengers. They might not be hostile first off, but they are going to be the pain in your space backside um, once you start messing about with that machine. So take the pain, get the lasers out and give them a good shooting. Deader. Once you've done that, then it's then going to be time, I would say, to drop that Thargoid sensor out of your SRV. If not before, to be perfectly honest with you, because um, it's going to be degrading your systems on your SRV and you don't need that, right? 
Take out the last of the scavengers. Some might come in from other antechambers. And now it's going to be time to approach the center of the, of the device, the Thargoid machine. Get over the, gr the glowing green port and just jettison a relic. If you've done it right and you're all lined up, you'll see a beam of light, as you can see on the right hand side, and the relic pop up in the sky. Do this three times and you'll soon get the hang of it, so don't worry about that. There's the glowing port. Position the SRV over that. Jettison the relic. It'll pop through and you'll feel like an SRV driving god. Right, so jettisoned. Brilliant. Once you've jettisoned it, it's time to make a little bit of a hasty retreat. When I say a hasty retreat, I always do this from the confines of one of the side tunnels that lead you in to the main device. So that's what your device should be looking at. Three blue glowing guardian relics, I suppose we're going to call them. There they are, those blue crystals. Now, they're currently blue, but we're going to turn that machine on by scanning it. Right, and once we've scanned it, then it's going to be a different part of the story. Just select it, give it a good scan with your data link scanner, and that's going to activate the said device. Ooh, look at that. It just looks angry and nasty. Now, once you've done that, even if you haven't irritated any of those Thargoid helpers, the little sentries, um, they're going to come at you. That's why it's probably better to have shot them the first time off. Now you'll have noticed light has come down from the pillars and your lovely blue crystals have been turned green. Thargoid green. Oh yes, yes indeed. So here we are in our SRV. You can see there's my sensor there on the right hand side. Cargo scoop out. <clears throat> Select an unclassified relic, which is now what they are. Drive over them, pick them up, job done. Easier said than done as well because more of these Thargoid scavengers, their versions of sentry units, they're going to come after you and cause you a little bit of damage. Don't be afraid to get the lasers out. They don't care. No hard feelings. I mean, look at all the commanders they've killed so far in that other system of the Bright Sentinel. So there you go. I think on the live stream, they said something like 6,000 were killed <laughs> in the first morning. So select the unclassified relics. You'll get them in your cargo hold job done. That's all there is to it. And then once you've done that, it's going to be time to get them all back to the ship. Now it's my advice on the way out. Don't forget your Thargoid sensor canister if you want to come in and repeat the process. But be aware once you put that into your cargo bay, not only will it fill up your cargo bay because you're at the maximum for a scarab of being four, um, but it'll start to degrade your systems, as we mentioned on the way in. So, it's time to foxtrot Oscar out of the tunnels and back to your ship. Drop everything off in your car uh, anti-corrosive cargo bay. And if you want, repeat the process. And that is how you get unclassified artifacts step by step. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Ricardo. Check out for more Elite Dangerous videos in the future and the live streams on the weekends. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.